Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be looking at how to write a number as a product of its prime factors. We're going to be looking at two methods, the factor tree and the factor ladder. Let's go! When it comes to factor tree versus factor ladder, it doesn't really matter which one you use. Certain schools focus on teaching the tree, certain schools focus on teaching the ladder, but at the end of the day they do the exact same thing. So it's up to your personal preference. Let's look at the steps, which apply to both the factor tree and the factor ladder. Step one, if I'm looking to write a number, let's say 60, which is going to be my first example, as a product of its prime factors, how do I do this? Well, you take the number and you start with the smallest prime number, which we know is 2. And we ask ourselves, is 2 a factor of 60? In other words, can 2 divide into 60 without a remainder of any sort? If it can, you keep that number, you divide it, and you move on. And then you take that, you know, the answer, and you do it again. It'll make a lot more sense with an example. But let's say we figure out that a certain number doesn't divide into it. You move to the next number. Let's look at an example. I'm going to do 60 first. And for the first two examples, I'm going to be doing both the factor tree and the factor ladder. Remember, they both do the same thing. So starting with 60, you always start with the smallest prime. So I'm going to do two branches like this. This that I'm doing, by the way, is the factor tree. So I'm doing the factor tree in order to write 60 as a product of its prime factors. Remember, product means multiply. So you start with the smallest prime number, which is 2. Can 2 divide into 60 without a remainder? In other words, is 2 a factor of 60? Yes, it is. 2 can divide into 60 30 times without a remainder. Then you go again. So that's what I mean by you go again. And you start with the smallest prime number again. And you say, can 2, which is the smallest prime number, divide into 30? Yes, it can. How many times? 15 times. Then you go again. Can 2 go into 15? No, it cannot. What is the next biggest prime number? So just to remind you, the prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. It's almost odd numbers, but not quite. 13, and so on. So 2 cannot go into 15. What about 3? Can 3 go into 15? Yes, it can. How many times? 5 times. Now, if you look at my tree, and you look at the little two branches at the bottom, what you'll see is 3 and 5 are both prime numbers. When you eventually reach a point where you have two prime numbers at the bottom, you stop. It's done. You cannot go any further. 3 and 5 are both prime numbers, so therefore, how to write 60 as a product of its prime factors? We go 60 equals... Then we look at our tree, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. We take all the prime numbers, the prime factors, we multiply them by one another. Another way to write this, 2 to the power of 2. That is another way to write 2 times 2, because it's 2 multiplied by itself twice then times 3 times 5. I will do a separate video on exponents and powers and what that means because I know when you're in maybe grade 6, 7, 8, maybe even you're unsure of that. Let me do this exact same example using the ladder. It's exactly the same, guys. The only thing that's different is how I lay it out. So I draw a line down the middle here and a line over here. And as I go on, I'm going to add lines, like rungs, to a ladder. You start with the smallest prime number. 2 can divide into 60 30 times. Then again, you start with the smallest prime number. 2 can go into 30 15 times. Can 2 divide into 15 without a remainder? No. So you go to the next biggest prime number, which is 3. 3 goes into 15 5 times. And then you say, what is the smallest prime number that can divide into 5? It is 5 itself. And we end up with 5 divided by 5 being 1. You'll see with the factor ladder that we go all the way to the number 1. The product of prime factors, how we write that is we use the numbers on the left here. It's exactly the same as the tree. Do you see 2 times 2 times 3 times 5? Same thing. 60 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And again, 2 times 2 can be written as 2 to the power of 2 times 3 times 5. And that's it. Let's take a look at another example. 
136. If you guys want to pause the screen and try this yourself, see if you can do it. See if you can do it without using a calculator. And then you can unpause the screen and see and mark your work with me. We start with the smallest prime number. I'm going to do the factor tree first, which is 2. 2 divides into 136 68 times. Then again, you start with the smallest prime number. Test it out. Does it work? 2. 2 goes into 68 34 times. Then you go again. You start with the smallest prime number, which is 2. 2 goes into 34. Does it divide into 34? Think carefully. It does. 17 times. Then if you think and you consider this, 2 and 17. 17 is actually a prime number. There's no other numbers that can divide into 17 besides 1 and 17 itself. So we stop. We're done. So we've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 17. So 136 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 17. What's another way I can write 2 times 2 times 2? Well, it's 2 multiplied by itself 3 times, so 2 to the power of 3 times 17. If you do the factor ladder, you'll get the exact same answer. Let's do it very quickly. So we start with the smallest prime number, which is 2. 2 goes into 136 68 times. Start with the smallest prime number. You add a rung to your ladder. 2 goes into 68 34 times. Can 2 go into 34 without a remainder? Yes, it can. And why am I doing 2? Because remember, it's the smallest prime number. We always start with that one. It can go in 17 times. And the only number that can divide into 17 without leaving a remainder is 17 itself. And that goes in once. There we go. 2 times 2 times 2 times 17. 136 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 17. And again, we can simplify to 2 to the power of 3 times 17. Very last example. And if you haven't paused the screen to try it yourself yet, do it now. See if you can do this. I'm going to be doing my tree. 2 goes into 180 90 times. Think about this. 2 times 9 is 18. So 2 times 90 is 180. Then you start with the smallest prime again. Now, guys, I know you might be tempted to do 3. 3 is a prime number. 3 can go into 90. But you're not doing the smallest prime number. So your answer will come out a bit weird. So always the smallest prime number. 2 goes into 90. How many times? 45 times. Then we consider 45. Can 2 divide into 45 without a remainder? No, it can't. What about the number 3? Can 3 go into 45? Remember, 3 is the next biggest prime. Yes, it can. 15 times. 2 can't go into 15, but 3 can. 3 can go into 15 5 times. 3 and 5 are prime numbers, so we stop there. Our product of prime factors will be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. 180 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Let's see if we can simplify that. 2 times 2 is 2 multiplied by itself 2 times. 3 times 3 is 3 multiplied by itself 2 times times 5. And there's our answer. Try it using a factor ladder. If you prefer that, you'll get to the same answer. And please subscribe because in the next video we're going to learn how to calculate the highest common factor hcf and lowest common multiple lcm but using products of our prime factors so using this instead of listing it out like you may have done in grade six or seven awesome guys i'll see you in the next video